Hello all, welcome to What About YouTube channel. Myself Rahul Nikshan. Um, today we are going to see um, how we can execute our test cases in a headless mode. Right. So in our last video, we have seen how we can execute our test cases using a payboard, and uh, today we are going to see how we can execute it in a uh, headless mode. Right. So this headless mode execution is very important. Like uh, if you are looking for a higher performance execution, and if you want to integrate with any of the CI/CD tools, uh, then you have to uh, be clear like how you can uh, do the headless uh, mode execution. Right. So the importance of headless uh, with non-headless is like in non-headless it will open up the browser. It means like the GUI will get opened. And it will simulate all the actions that you have provided in your test case, right? But if you're going with a uh, headless mode, means it will not open up the browser or it will not open up the GUI for you. But in the backend, it will execute all the scripts and it will generate the output for you, right? And even if you want to get the screenshot also, Selenium will help you to capture the screenshot for you, right? Mm, so I will show you like what are the changes that you have to do to uh, enable the headless execution in the um, uh, robot framework right um, so for that um, actually um, uh, i'm going to use the same test case like what we have used in our previous uh, demo and we have three test cases and in each test case uh, we are using run keywords and we are using the open browser uh, keyword to open up the um, url right and we are passing a uh, browser as well um, so what i'm going to do is maybe uh, before going to this let me execute these uh, test cases first. Okay. So now it is going to execute in a uh, non headless mode. Right? So here you can see it has opened up uh, three uh, process in parallel and uh, process 0, 1, and 2. And it is going to open up uh, three browser windows and it is starting up the test case execution. Right. Here you can see it has opened three browsers, right? But if you're going to execute in a headless mode, these browsers will not get open for a, a tester or for a developer. They will not be able to see the browsers get opened in their machine. Uh, but instead, it will execute in the backend and it will generate the report, right? Okay, so the first change what we have to do is we have to uh, create a general keyword okay for that i created a uh, dot robot file and uh, what we are going to do is we are going to set up a, a general keyword here okay then that keyword we are going to use in all the test cases okay because uh, we need to pass a different url for each the each of the test cases um so what i'm going to do is let me copy these uh, settings okay then let me copy these keywords also Okay, then in settings, I'm going to just import a Selenium library, Selenium library, library, okay. Then here we need to set up a new keyword, right? So let me put it like open um, headless Chrome, okay. Then what is the next thing? We have to pass the arguments, okay. So what should be the argument? It should be the URL from the um, user, right? Um, so let me declare a variable here maybe let me keep it like url okay so that's it then uh, the next thing is like we have to set the options okay so that options i already uh, prepared here let me go here and i'm going to copy and paste it okay and i, I will explain you like what are these uh, settings Okay, so these options are nothing but like the capabilities like uh, uh, previously like we used to name it like the capabilities um, so uh, what it'll do is like we are going to set few arguments for the chrome okay um so here you can see um like okay let me start from here itself like uh, we are first setting the options then evaluate then uh we are setting the selenium dot web driver to the chrome options and we are going to pass uh, different arguments okay to disable and to enable few of the settings for the uh, Chrome execution. Okay, so the first argument is like a disable notification. All the notifications should be disabled for the browser and disable the info bars as well. Then this is very important. Like we are making the uh, Chrome as a headless. Okay, then again uh, we are setting it like a no sandbox as well. Okay, then once these options are set, then we are passing the options 
uh, to the open chrome uh, open browser activity okay so previously uh, i remember like we used to name it like a capabilities but uh, in the latest versions and all we have the options available okay so we can directly set the options to change the property or the feature of the chrome execution okay so now we have set all these options and we are going to pass this value as an option to the open browser activity along with that we are going to pass the url as well so maybe let me rename it to login url and we are making it like headless chrome to the open browser activity and we are setting options equal to options okay let me save it then what is the next activity i need to call this open browser in all the uh test cases right so let me do one thing let me remove this let me save it okay then here it should be nothing there is no need of anything right only we need to pass only one um, argument even here also the same okay then open browser i'm going to set it with this value uh, even for this test case also the same okay then next what we have to do currently we have uh, declared this open uh, headless chrome in a uh, general keyword dot ro robot file right so in order to get this particular keyword in all the files we have to add it as a resource right and this general keyword currently I added it in my root folder along with the test cases. Okay, so I just need to use only the file name. Uh, so in settings, resource, okay, then gen underscore keywords dot robot. Okay, so let me copy this. Okay, let me save it that's it okay so the our settings are ready we have declared a general keyword inside that we um, called the library selenium library then we have declared a new keyword inside that we first get the uh, login url as the uh, uh, url from uh, the particular test cases okay so this will be the argument okay that will get passed here then we set the options okay and uh, we declared all these options and we pass that options to the open browser uh, keyword okay that's it so now let us try to execute the test case and we'll see the difference so here we can see it has opened uh, three test cases okay and we are not able to see any browsers get opened right and still it is running still it is running let it complete then we'll see uh, the report the first test case got failed we'll check the report and we'll try to understand what is the reason for that and here we can see one test case goes past so it means the execution is working as expected uh, last one is also passed okay so this is expected like one of our test case will get failed because of the uh, application issue okay so let me go to um, where is the path okay let me go to the project path explore okay this is the report let me open it okay all test and here we can see two get passed and one got failed so let me go to any of the pass at this case and here we can see it has opened with the uh, headless chrome and uh, all these options got successful and headless uh, browser also got opened then maximize browser window then uh, here we can see everything got uh, executed and it closed the browser okay um so this is how you can easily set up your headless execution in your machine for or in your test suite for doing the headless browser execution or the chrome execution right um so in the coming videos i will show you like how you can uh, enable that uh, this settings for your linux settings as well linux instance as well because for linux it will be uh, something different like some changes you have to do okay so that 
different sources i will show you and uh, along with that i will try to cover up a uh, uh, video on setting up a uh, pipeline for the robot execution okay um and that also will be helping you for understanding like how you can do that in a uh, ci cd uh, pipeline so that's it for today i hope you got a clear understanding about how to set up the headless execution for robot framework if there is any doubt please do put it in the comment section i can try to help you out okay um so if you like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so thanks for watching the video bye